Hi everybody, I thought I'd make a short video as I see a potential, a high watch day, very high watch for a possible Palm Sunday or the triumphal entry rapture. I'm going to keep this as a short video because the time is getting short and I didn't want to draw this out. I actually had another presentation put together, but I thought it was longer and more complicated so I thought I put this more simple one together and so I see a high watch potential for Palm Sunday and it's not based on any particular calendar but rather on the La Palma eruption event date and I'll talk about that a little bit in here but with this I'll go from here so let me start off with just reading uh, this passage in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12. And that latter part of it says, A threefold cord is not quickly broken. So when you have a fivefold cord, it's not readily broken whatsoever. And so that's what I'm going to show you next with the triumphal entry. There's actually five verses that are associated with the triumphal entry and all four Gospels in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and actually in Psalms 118.26. So this is a rarity. So even with the Olivet Discourse, it was only found in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, but with Christ's triumphal entry on a donkey into Jerusalem, it's mentioned in all four Gospels, which is a very rare event, but five verses, including one in the Old Testament in Psalms 118.26, all refer to Christ's triumphal entry. So with that, I believe the Bible is fivefold drawing extra particular attention to this time period of the triumphal entry. So I'll briefly show those five Bible verses and they'll be highlighted in green. Here it is in Psalms 118 verse 26. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And in Matthew 23 verse 39, it says, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In Mark, in Mark 11, 9, it says, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In Luke 13, 35, it says, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In John 12, verse 13, the triumphal entry, it has Hosanna, blessed is he who who comes in the name of the Lord. And so that is all the five verses that all say essentially the same thing. But the first Bible passage that mentions this is in Psalms 118.26. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. So if you look at the number 118. 26 it's as if the lord is pointing out psalm 118 and then 26 you know means yahweh yod hey vav hey then there's the 118 and you can also read the last three digits which is 826 as well so here they are listed here so 118 you get 118 jubilees. With the 26, you get the yod Hey vav Hey, which means God. Then the last three digits, 826, 826 Shemitah cycles. And even with the book of Psalm, you can change that around the letters to be palms. So with the Hebrew year calendar of 5782, you can divide that Hebrew year by 49, which is 7 times 7, 
and you get 118 jubilees. And if you divide the same Hebrew year by seven, you get 826 Shemitah cycles. Now, Dr. Barry Oz and Bob Barber's End Time Dream and Vision, along with Mikhail Messenger YouTube channels, you can see these in detail. So that is embedded in the Psalms 118.26. So the Hebrew calendar, New Year, the next year after the 49 years, the Jubilee, so the 50th year, which would be the year 5783 on the Hebrew calendar, would then begin on Yom Kippur, which is the 10th of Tishri, and that would be the 50th year, therefore the Hebrew year 5783. However, since we are now in the days of Noah, everything gets pushed back six months. Now we move it back six months. So Tishri 10, which is Yom Kippur, then becomes Nisan 10, six months earlier. And that was the date of Christ's triumphal entry. So since there are so many calendars that are being presented, mostly three, which is the Enoch calendar uh, by Repo Man 64, which I'm a fan of. There's the new moon sighting, which just occurred yesterday, March 23rd. And then there's the Equinox calendar, including here. But I wanted to find out if you could, in fact, find out when the start of Nissan 1 would be based on just signs, earthly and heavenly signs that are associated with the triumphal entry and palms. And I thought the best one was with the La Palma eruption and La Palma means the palm. And that occurred on September 19th, 2021. And to that, you want to add two years for a Shemitah year and for the 49th final Jubilee year prior to the 50th year. Hopefully that wasn't too convoluted. But anyways, so what you have here is September 29th, 2021, which was the day, the first day of the La Palma eruption. And again, that means the palm plus two years to Shemitah plus the 49th Jubilee rest. That brings you to two years later, which is September 19, 2023. But as the days of Noah were, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. So you need to subtract six months, which is brings you back to the calendar used during the days of Noah, so September 19th, 2023 instead, minus six months, brings you to March 21st, 2023. And you can see that here where you have the La Palma er eruption day, the first day of it, plus the two years with the Shemitah and Jubilee. September 19th, 2023, you subtract 182 days, which is six months, you get March 21st, 2023. And I'm using that as Nissan One. So with Nissan One being March 21st, based on the La Palma eruption date, plus the two years, minus six months, you got the March 21st, 2023 day, so including that day as Nissan 1, then Nissan 10, the date of the triumphal entry, and potentially, so I'm saying potentially the date of the rapture, the triumphal entry will fall on March 30th next week. 
So like the threefold cord is not easily broken as mentioned in Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12. A fivefold cord is definitely really tough to break. And with these five passages and with all four books of the gospel and some seeming to be an encoding of 118 Jubilee, 826 Shemitah, and even the word Psalm being changing the letters around being palms seems to be all pointing to the triumphal entry. So again, I think Psalm 118.26 is an encoding of the triumphal entry as I just presented earlier, especially with the other four Gospels in the New Testament, all four of them mentioning the triumphal entry, which is blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, this one being the first entry of that in the Old Testament, the other four being a rarity of something being in all four Gospels. Even, like I said, the Olivet Discourse was only mentioned in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and but not in John. So, I think that March 30th, 2023, a.k.a. Palm Sunday, based on the La Palma eruption, which I think was a sign an earthly sign that this may be the rapture, the potential rapture. And again, I'm caveating this saying it could be a potential rapture date, but I think it bears very high watching on March 30th, 2023. So if this is not the date, then I think the next date will be Passover as Dr. Barry Ah is very fond of that date, but I believe that is a very high watch date as well. So as you notice here, just doing this real quickly, that on the back of donkeys, which Christ rode in on the triumphal entry, is the cross. It's called the donkey's cross. So I believe prior to Christ going to the cross, he rode on the donkey for the triumphal entry who bears the cross on its back. So I wanted to keep this video rather short, under 20 minutes, but I hope that this video has been a blessing to you. So I think Palm Sunday, but I have March 30th. There's other calendars, like I said, I'm going by the La Palma event and counting 10 days including that date of march 21st which gives you march 30th as nissan 10 being palm sunday the triumphal entry rapture date as a very high watch date for sure and potentially a rapture date and if not that like i said then the next date to bear watching will be Passover and then the resurrection on Nissan 17. Anyways, I hope this video has been a blessing and I hope to see you all in heaven shortly if the rapture does come to pass, but please be watchful as we are commanded to do. And from here, I'll talk to you later. So take care.